Hey, this is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog dedicated to building science and fine craftsmanship. I'm in a remodel house that my company did five years ago. As a matter of fact, we're in my personal house. And uh, I think doing remodels as a builder and as a remodeler on my personal properties has really given me a lot of insight that I wouldn't necessarily have gained doing it for other clients. Um, but today, the main focus of what I want to talk about is a new light that Cree has come out with that I think is going to solve a problem for me in this house. This is the SL24 and the SL40. These are basically a utility light that's meant to take their place of a strip T5 fluorescent. So these are very efficient, very high output um, LED fixtures that are very affordable. So this is a ceiling mount right here. And here's what the problem is in my house that I'm hoping these are gonna solve. Come on into my laundry room here. I've got a fairly compact laundry room uh, that I remodeled in this 70s house here. This is my wife's uh, computer workstation. I've got two front loaders. I've got just a little bit of storage and behind me here is a pantry. And so this is a room that gets a lot of use during the course of the day. The lighting I put in here when I remodeled this five years ago uh, are these circular fluorescent lights. You can see there's a two bulb light in there. They were about $60 a fixture, $50 a fixture, something like that. And they're relatively um, uh, efficient at about 40, I think these are both 42 watt models combined for the two bulbs. However, because this is a high use area, we're in and out of this space all the time. The one thing that's really bugged me about these fluorescents is the bulbs die all the time. Not as much as if they would have been a uh, probably an incandescent bulb, but I'd be willing to bet in the five years I've, I've lived in this remodel, I've changed these bulbs probably at least once a year, if not maybe slightly more. And these fluorescents in the circulars are not inexpensive. They're probably somewhere in the eight to ten dollar range per bulb. As you can see, this one above my wife's desk, one bulb's burnt out, one's working. This one over here, finally both bulbs have given out. And, um, and so when I heard about this new Cree that came out, I, I called my Cree rep and said, you gotta order me one each of those. I wanna try those in my own house, see if that'll solve my issues. I think we're gonna give a lot of light, we're gonna be more efficient, and now I'm not gonna have to change those bulbs all the time, which is really my big concern. All right, fluorescents are down, and I got the uh, SL40 up, and we are just to mount, about to mount the SL24. It's got a pretty ingenious mounting system. I'm going to show you a link in picture we took of it. But basically, this guy, once you get it mounted, snaps right into place. Man, that is a sweet little system right there. And I mounted my uh, mine with a occupancy sensor switch. This is a room that we use a lot in the house. We're in and out of here all the time during the day. You could also set this one to vacancy mode, which is a great idea. Um, where basically you have to manually turn on the switch and it'll turn itself off. But we actually like the idea of the occupancy sensor in here. So we're gonna mount the switch on the wall, but here's what they look like. The big reveal. Wow, what a big difference, holy cow. So we've gone from this big ugly cover, which is also yellowed in time and doesn't look very good five years later, to these SL24 and SL40s. I don't know if I told you the stats before, um, uh, I'll post the link on there for the actual wattage output um, for the SL24 and the wattage output for the SL40. But for lumen output, I do remember that one off the top of my head. This is 2,000 lumens and this is 4,000 lumens. This fixture that I had in here before was about $50 to $60. This fixture is about double that price and this fixture is about triple that price, maybe a little bit less than that. Actually, a little bit less than triple the price. But here's the big deal. 50,000 hours of life. I really believe that the on-off is not gonna cause the kind of problems that it had uh, before with my fluorescence, so I'm not gonna be running down to the big orange box once a year, getting some new bulbs for these and messing with them. And look how much brighter this laundry room space is. This is really a nice space now. And no one wants a dark, dingy laundry room. Not a fun place to be. Thanks to Germany, everybody. And please, if you're considering some fluorescent lights for your utility areas, uh, for garages, um, I think, I think this, this SL24 and SL40 has a lot of applications in a house. LED really is the future and the guys at Cree have nailed it with this fixture. Thanks everybody, we'll see you next time.